which takes us up to week 26, uh, visitor analysis. Now, visitor analysis is everything in culmination, everything really coming together. Um, you've taken the effort of really doing everything with regards to your internet marketing that you can possibly can. You've, 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 you've got your website structured great, you know, you've, you've got your automation right, you've, you've taken the video marketing, audio marketing, now you really need to know which areas of internet marketing you're going to use in the future. Because you've done the work of actually making your linking to your website look as natural as possible. But what you need to do is really focus on visitors now and actually see which phrases people are actually typing into search engines to find your website, um, which phrases um, people are using to find your category pages, individual pages, which links they're actually linking to your website. You know, are they using social networking sites? Is, is social bookmarking really effective for you as well? So you need to find which internet marketing methods is right for you. Now, Google Analytics is the way to analyze that data. Um, obviously, you've got your Google account created, so you log into your Google Analytics account. And what I'd like to show you here is just a brief overview of some stats from the Build Your Own Business.biz website and the kind of stats that you can actually get from your Google Analytics. Now, this is roughly over a space of about a year or so, I think. So there's about 40,000 visits, about 100,000 page views, about three pages per visit, uh, about 60% bounce rate off the home page, about seven minutes um, average time spent on the site, um, and a, a gradual growth of visitors over time. But what keyword phrases do people use in search engines when they're actually searching for that particular website? Well, all that information is part of the package, tracks all that data. I can see that 3,500 people have found Build Your Own Business by searching for the phrase business articles. However, it's not just the home page that counts. The most important thing is to get your every single page possible featured in search engines. So let's see what other keyword phrases that people are actually typing into search engines to find this website. Well, business articles is obviously the most popular one, but people are also actually typing in the brand name, build your own business. So 120 people typing in that. Um, people are typing in build your own business biz. You know, 63 people are typing in that. However, people are typing in management articles, 47 people. Team building strategies, 47 people. What is a team? 42 people. But let's go further down. You know, right down to, you know, 494, how to write a sales letter, how to persuade. HR management articles, four people um, have typed in those keyword phrases and have visited the website from those phrases. But that's not all. That's just showing rows 1 to 500 of 14,861 keyword phrases. That many keyword phrases people have actually found and visited the website buildyourownbusiness.biz. You know, so it shows you it's imperative not to just focus on your home page. You know, focus on lots and lots of other pages. Focus on your category pages. Focus on your individual pages. And if you build up you know, each individual page, then if a search engine like Google at some point in the future decides actually... Um, I decided not to rank your website highly for business articles at all on the home page. It doesn't make a massive difference because if you go up here, um, we see we've got um, 3,500 visits from the phrase business articles, but that is out of um, a total of um, quite a few thousand. had the number they're kicking about somewhere. Um, it's, it's something like, oh, there we go, uh, percentage of visits. So 13.51% of visitors um, have used business articles in order to actually find the website. Now, that means an awful lot more of people have actually used longer tail keywords in order to find the website. Those are the kind of figures that you're looking for, you know. So if your, your main keyword phrase on your homepage doesn't pay off or gets deranked in the future, then you can count in your category pages and your, your individual pages to, to bring you lots of traffic. Okay, also what links to your site send you the most traffic? So this is a, a list of a few different links that are linking to the website buildyourownbusiness.biz. So I can see what links specifically are bringing in the most amount of traffic. And I can see there's a website up here called top10salesarticles.com. Nothing to do with me, but it's brought in 400-odd visitors uh, and it just started this month here, and I can track exactly this particular website. Um, people average 10 minutes on the site rather than actually the standard seven. So 
Obviously, visitors that visit from that web- website are thinking that um, my website's particularly relevant to their needs because they're spending longer on the site for some reason. There's less people that actually bounce off the website, I think. You know, um, there's obviously quite a high percentage of new visitors there as well, but you can actually split that down, break that down even further, and actually you can see, okay, from the page top10salesarticles.com slash admin... I've had 49 visits, you know, I've had visitors spend an average of seven minutes per site, you know, so I can, you can break it down so much, you know, I can see exactly where individual visitors on your site are coming from, and you can click on that link there, and you actually see the page that's linking to your site and see how the link evolved. So if it's bringing in lots of business, then obviously it's important to forge closer relationships with that link, with that website that's bringing you in business, and, and maybe try and get even better links on that website in the future. What are bounce rates? Right, it's, it's basically people that actually visit the one page and then just uh, go off your site and, and don't visit another page on your site. So what do visitors do once they visit your website? Um, so you can track that as well. You can see what pages they visit on your site, you know, how long they spend on each site, you know, you know your bounce rate, um, you know, the amount of page views. The average page views is important. You can track that, see how it differs maybe between people that come from links compared to the people that come from search engines. You can also look at the technical profile of people that actually view your site. So you can see how many people use Internet Explorer, how many people use Firefox, Safari, so different explorers. Uh, different browsers, sorry. Um, you can view... What else can you view? You can view screen size. So we, if you can see if the, most people are actually viewing your site through a 1024 size monitor or 800 pixel wide monitor or even a mobile um, browsing device. So you can break down, you can see everything about your visitors and you can really analyse everything from there. So... In terms of visitor analysis, you need to know what keyword (coughs) phrases people use in search engines to find your website. That's imperative. Um, What links do your site send you the most traffic? Then you can forge greater relationships with those links. And then what do your visitors do once they reach your your website? How long do you stay in your site? What can you actually do to make your website more sticky? Do they fill out these forms? That's where you need to start analysing your goals as well. Remember beforehand, hopefully you filled out those goals to actually um, give yourself a monetary goal to actually hit a thank you page. And you can analyse all that data. and You can try and improve on that and, and improve the, the value of people hitting your home page. Because you might find that you know, it takes a long uh, a long while for people to actually go through your site and only 1% of people actually hit the thank you page, which means that they request information and that's your goal. If you can improve that conversion rate significantly, then the, the value of people hitting your home page may jump from a pound to ten pounds or something like that. So conversion rates are absolutely imperative uh, when it comes to visitor analysis and really getting a grip with your stats. Which uh, brings us to the end of phase four, uh, broaden your horizon. 